In this tutorial, we'll be using layers and the onion skin feature to quickly create a bouncing ball animation. The first thing to do is draw the actual ball image at the desired size relative to the overall canvas size. Then right click the line tool and choose curve mode and left click, drag and release to set the horizontal distance of the curve. Then drag up and click to set the height of the curve and create a guide for the bouncing movement of the ball. Now press the comma key and then right click on anywhere in the background of the canvas to set that color as your background or erasing color. Then press the B key and right click and drag a selection rectangle to simultaneously pick up the ball image and erase it from the canvas. Right click in the brush container to store a copy of the ball image into one of the brush slots for future use. Pressing the period key will bring you back to a single pixel brush. Now we're going to add a previously created background image to our animation. The first step is to simply drag its thumbnail from its folder into the canvas of ProMotion. This will load it in as its own project. You can now toggle between the animation project and the background image by pressing the page up and page down keys or by clicking on their respective tabs below the canvas. Now let's create a new image layer by clicking the new image layer icon and left click and drag it so that it's beneath the original layer in Z order. Double click on the new layer's name and rename it. Now select the original layer, right click on the checkerboard box near the top left which represents transparent. Press the F key for the flood fill tool. Make sure its isolated fill option is not checked on and then right click on the background of the layer to make it transparent. Now click on the layer we renamed to background and right click on its FX icon. Choose display other project, click add and select the second project from the drop down list which will be the background image we previously loaded. Let's now save to ensure any problems such as a power outage won't cause us the need to restart from scratch. Because we set the background layer of our animation project to show the background image file, we need to save both as projects. If we were only to save the actual animation project and not the background image, the background would not be displayed when you reload. Choose File, Save Project As, and save the actual animation project. Then press Page Up or Page Down to get to the background image and do the same, this time choosing an appropriate name for the background image project file. Now you'll see if we check back into the layer setting for the background layer, it's updated the name of the project it's displaying to match whatever you named the background image project file. Let's rename this layer to Guide by double clicking on its name and then typing the new name and clicking OK. And let's reduce its opacity a bit so we can still see it, but it's a bit less distracting. Create an animation layer by clicking the Add Animation Layer icon and double click on its name and rename it to Ball. Now choose Animation, Number of Frames, and set the number of frames to 24 and click OK. You'll notice our guide layer is currently only visible on frame 1. To fix this, right click the name of the layer and then select Turn into Image. Now it's properly displayed on all frames. Now make sure you have the ball layer selected, lock the other layers so you can't accidentally draw on them, and let's start animating. Left click the ball image from the brush container and make sure we're on the first frame. You can press shift and the 1 key above the letters on the keyboard to instantly go to the first frame. Left click to draw the ball into the first frame at the beginning of its movement path. Then use the 2 key to advance a frame and left click again to draw the ball a little further along in the path. You could keep using the 1 key to go back a frame and the 2 key to advance a frame in order to make sure your positioning of the ball is progressing correctly but there's a much better way to do this. Click on the light table settings icon here and a pop-up will appear which lets you control the level of opacity of frames before and after the current frame as well as whether or not they are color tinted or displayed as a solid color. Adjust the settings as you see fit and click OK. Now click the light table icon for the ball layer to activate the onion skin mode for the animation layer. Now we can see the position of the ball in the previous and future frames, making proper placement in any given frame much easier to determine. As you place the ball in each frame, remember the motion of the ball is slowest toward the peak of the arc and is fastest just before hitting the floor. When you get to the frames where the ball should hit the floor, hold shift and press the Z key in order to get into free transform mode for the brush and left click and drag to change the shape of the ball so that it's vertically squished and a tiny bit wider than it originally was. 
Once you've moved on to the next frame, you can either press Shift B to restore the ball brush to its original round shape, or left click the unsquished original in the brush container to restore to that version. Just follow these same steps until the ball completes the movement path and is off screen. Now that all the frames for the ball are done, let's turn the onion skin aka light table mode back off and hide the guide layer. The next thing to do is set the FPS or frames per second for all the frames. Click the small FPS icon near the bottom right, set the FPS to 12 frames per second, click all and then click OK. Now press the 4 key above the letters on the keyboard to play the animation to check it out. You can stop the animation from playing by pressing the escape key. This animation is pretty much done, but we'll add one more effect to enhance the sense of impact when the ball bounces. Create another animation layer by clicking the add a new animation layer button and rename it to impact flash. Now go to the first frame where the bounce occurs and use the basic drawing and erasing tools on this new impact flash layer and draw a simple impact flash frame. Once you're happy with it, advance one frame with the 2 key and draw a second frame to make the impact flash spread and fade away. For the purpose of this animation, just the two frames are enough. For a little extra effect, let's reduce the opacity a bit for this impact flash layer. And now for a little trick to save us some time, select Brush, Anim Brush, Settings from ProMotion NG's menu and set Frames to Grab to 2 and click OK. Now go to the first frame where the impact flash starts, make sure you have the impact flash layer selected, press B and hold the ALT key while you are left clicking and dragging to select the impact flash layer. You now have a copy of that 2 frame animation as your brush. Just use the 2 key to advance until you find the next frame where a bounce starts and left click once where the impact flash needs to be. You'll see that the anim brush has automatically advanced to its next frame. So just press the 2 key one time to advance to the next frame of the entire animation and left click one more time in the same spot. Repeat this process anywhere else in the timeline if there are more instances of the ball hitting the floor. Press the 4 key one more time to see how the animation looks. If you're happy with it, save the entire project one more time and then you're ready to export the animation as a standard non-layered animation file. Choose File, Save Animation As, and choose whichever animation file format you'd like and type a name for your file. Make sure it's set to export all visible layers along with their effects and click OK. Depending on the file format you selected, you may also have options to choose which codec the animation uses for graphic compression, and then click OK again. Then ProMotion will save your animation and you'll be able to play it back in any video or gallery program which supports that file format. Thanks very much for watching and happy creating with ProMotion NG.